This needs to be up. How do we look? We look pretty good, right? right we look pretty good. <sighs> Stand up straight, Nick. Notes. Test, test, test. What's up everybody, Nick Bringle here, and I'm really excited to start this three-part series that I'm calling Create Something. I thought about a bunch of different titles and names for what this thing is, but I just stuck with create something, uh, kind of keeps in line with creating something every day, creating something today, creating something for you, creating something to bring value to others, whatever. It, you could go down so many avenues, channels, roads, exits, do whatever you gotta do. So I had this idea about executing your ideas, uh, cultivating an idea, and actually going out and producing content, whether it's uh, photography, filmmaking, design, writing, whatever it is, but that you're having these ideas and that you're actually going out and making it happen for you or for your audience, your community, whatever but that you're actually doing it and you're not just thinking about it, writing it down, leaving it there, and never actually making it come to life. So I thought a little bit about what that's gonna look like for me as a filmmaker, as a creator here on YouTube. How can I bring value to you, my audience, that is just so awesome. And uh, wow, we are almost to a thousand subscribers. Let's get there. We hit that thousand, it's gonna be nuts. There's gonna be a huge party. So I've shot three little scenes, short films, whatever you wanna call them, and they're different categories, and we're gonna watch the scene, and then I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the idea behind it, the production of it, how it came to life, and uh, yeah, hopefully at the end of each episode, it'll sorta of help you go out and create something today, tomorrow, every day. And so the first topic or category, whatever you wanna call, you've already seen it in the description. It's suspense, horror, thriller, whatever you wanna call it. It's probably none of those, but that's what we're covering. So without further ado, go ahead and watch this little scene and then we're gonna talk about it. Okay, so you've watched that scene. It's freaking amazing, I know. It's just really, really well done. We had a budget of about zero dollars, so just think of it that way. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's talk about this scene, this idea, and how it just came to be this little short clip that you just saw. So when I was a kid and I picked up the camera, one of the things that I really wanted to make was movies that I thought were cool and scary and creepy when I was a kid. Uh, movies like Signs, The Village, Blair Witch Project, Secret Window with Johnny Depp. Um, movies like that. I just, I was, I, I gravitated towards them as a kid and I thought, man, I wanna make scary movies. Quickly found out I didn't really wanna do that, but it was fun as a kid to try to make something that you thought was scary at the time when really it was just terrible. Um, so with this first category, I wanted to tackle that. I wanted to dig deep inside, pull out an idea, 
of a suspense, thriller, horror, ghost, whatever you want to think it is, and just shoot something simple um, with that. So the idea behind this little scene literally came from me sleeping in my bed that's right over there and looking up at the closet. Um, there's two closets in our bedroom. The closet from the film is right next to me. And so I just would pretend, oh my gosh, if the door just quietly open and there's the creek, what was in there, whatever. And that was it, that sparked the idea, that was it. And then it was very, very simple. From there, as always, I used my beautiful wife uh, to play the actress or play the role, um, even though she doesn't really want to. So um, yeah, it was a really simple scene. I said, yeah, you're sitting at the computer pretending to work and the doorknob starts to move around and you check it. Of course, there's nothing in there. And then you're called away from the room. And moments later, of course, the sound starts again. And uh, you're just sort of left wondering what it could be or if there's going to be more or if it scared you. I don't know. Um, it was it was really easy and, and fun to shoot. So we'll talk a little bit about the production. And uh, it was fairly simple. Uh, it was completely shot on one lens, um, the 24 millimeter f2.8 Quantare, which I've talked briefly about before. It is a Sigma off-brand lens that was made 30 years ago or something. And um, yeah, it's a really cool lens, fully manual. And uh, almost all the shots except for the static shot of the desk and the closet was on a tripod. Everything else was shot on the Moza Air uh, gimbal. And um, all the sound design as far as the doorknobs and the pulling the light on and even um, moving of the chair, anything that you heard in the little clip was all done after the fact. Um, everything was was hyper recorded after, uh, very close up, actually with the same microphone that we're using right now. And uh, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I would say total of about maybe two hours from beginning, shooting, get everything ready to watching it and going, wow, that's probably the greatest thing of all time. So where do we leave you with this? Basically, for me, it was just a chance to step out of my comfort zone, uh, shoot something that I typically lean away from. I'm not really running towards someone who says, let's film a scary movie or um, it just typically doesn't interest me. But this was a lot of fun to do something completely different. And it also sparked other ideas for the future, future videos. And I think that was uh, the greatest positive for me out of this is always learning something new, uh, surprising myself, and uh, yeah, and just going on from there. So I think that about does it for this first uh, little episode in this mini series I'm calling Create Something. And uh, yeah, look forward to the next episode coming out very soon. And uh, that's going to cover... I don't know what the category really is. I guess I would call it more artsy, dramatic, dancing, something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, and again, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about gear, about the production and how it all sort of comes together. These little ideas and, and just doing something different and not making any excuses, having an idea and just going and doing it. I mean, all these little clips that you're going to be seeing, I shot them in my home uh, or very, very close to it. Um, so with very little gear also um, and just made it happen. So if you have any questions about production, gear, how I edited, um, anything like that, just comment down below. Let me know. Uh, I plan on, as I finish out this little three-part series, doing a follow-up video that maybe answers some of your questions about just how I come up with the ideas, how I'm writing, how I approach uh, the production and the audio and the editing and, and the look and the feel and everything like that. Because um, again, I'm, I'm doing this on my own. There's no team here. That's me. And I use the resources that I have right here at my fingertips. So um, yeah, that's all I'm trying to spread out the message is just go, go, go create something, go do something and uh, link it down below. If you're, if you're making something, I, I want to see it. I want to hear about it. I want to watch it. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I guess until the next video, um, go create something. Um, yeah, and subscribe, I guess, if you think that that would be cool. I don't sure.